So today I'm going to try another multiple flip cup. The last time I tried it, uh, I tried it with 10 cups on a large canvas, quite large, and uh, it was uh, quite a bit of fun. And you guys uh, really nailed it in the comments. The discussion was great and I thought I would try some of those uh, well, some of those comments, uh, I thought I would try the suggestions you left in there. So yeah, let's do this. The colors, uh, so the colors I've used today, I've used the uh, zinc white, of course. Uh, I've used the um, iridescent silver. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. I also used the uh, fluorescent green and phthalo green. Uh, you can check out, I will put a link, in, a link in the description on how I mix my paint. Um, and yeah, let's get started. The multiple flip cup, since I flip it, I will put the heavy density paint in the bottom. So this is the zinc white. I will put a bit of it in each cup. The zinc white gives me the most effect since it has the heaviest density. Then, going to put uh, quite a bit of silver. I really want the silvery look in this one and I think it's going to be very interesting and silver and green are one of my favorite combination. I would have been a Slytherin in Harry Potter for sure. My cat is having fun in my um, boxes. <laughs> I'm going to skip the style green in one of them, just fluorescent green. I do not want fluorescent green in the whole piece, so we'll put it in only two cups. I think just some fluorescent details are going to look very nice. Yeah, of course I did that. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, set my flip up and I'll get back to you. Okay, so the last time what I did is I put my cups and they were all crammed in the middle and now I'm going to try and space them out so I do not need to tilt the painting as much and I keep a lot of those uh, cells that are appearing uh, intact so I'm going to try and figure this out I do not have two canvas of the same size and it's about all I have um, at the moment So in the comments, it was a great discussion, like, I can still move my cups once it's flipped, I can, like, a whole lot of things with them that I did not think about, but now that I think about it, 
Well, now that you guys mentioned it, it's a great idea. So let's flip this. As you can see, they are further apart, so this should cause less of a blob in the middle. settle a bit and take its own place. I have a clump here, that's annoying. I feel like those cells here. So I will still need to tilt a little bit, but really not all that much. And I forgot to keep the paint in there for the corners. <laughs> well, next time. the paint flow. I think the silver will look very interesting. Can't wait for this one to dry because uh, right now the silver looks quite light and we don't see it all that much but as soon as it will dry it will pop right up. Will be very, very cool looking, I think. So some clumps form, not too sure where they're coming from. Maybe the silver had clumps in it, not sure. But it's not too bad, I can only see. Well, I removed those I saw, so that's good. Hopefully I didn't miss any. And now I'm just going to pop those bubbles. There will always be a little bit of bubbles forming when you flip it. It's normal. It happens. You can use a straw to just gently blow on the paint and the carbon dioxide in the, your, well, your air <laughs> will uh, pop the bubbles. And I like to use a needle for the most, like, the stubborn ones, the ones I don't want but with just a straw. It's a bit of a patience game, but I like my paintings to look real nice and smooth when they're dry. So I do it. Quite 
happy with this one. I can't wait for it to dry and I can't wait to put it on a black light. I think there is going to be only a little bit of details on one side and that's just how I wanted it. I'm a bit uh, of a uh, monochrome uh, mood uh, this week. I don't know why. I feel like trying out new things. I am always for the most colorful paintings. Well, the monochromes one are colorful in their own way. It's fun. Flashy color. Happy. So yeah, this one is probably gonna keep changing a little bit for uh, as it dries. Um, I'm going to put pictures uh, in a bit. You'll see it. I'm uh, very very happy how it turned out. It's very very cool looking. The cells came out nicely and I think the silver will really really accentuate those cells. Um, I think that it isn't quite the brought the silver with it but when it sank and like it looks like the cells are outlined by silver and I really really like it. Uh, very very nice. I have to try more metallic paints for sure. And they give a really nice effect. And they're quite surprising too because uh, they change a lot as they dry. So you'll probably be surprised when I put a picture because not only the silver will darken quite a bit but the green will be very very dark. Um, on that note, thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe for more. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!